Hello everyone, this is Darko from HuddaTelevisia.com and today I will show you recommended settings for Samsung's 55H6500. These settings were achieved after doing full ISF calibration on this model. You should, however, take into consideration that only direct calibration done on your exact TV set will give you the most out of picture quality. Copying settings can be beneficial but can also reduce picture quality. Why? Because your default settings could be a little bit different, you know, every set is different. With that in mind, let's see settings that we have achieved. Picture mode movie. Backlight 10. Of course you can adjust this setting depending on your viewing environment. Contrast brightness are left at their factor values. Sharpness was decreased to 5 for HD content. You can leave it at default 20 for standard definition, but we prefer to decrease it and to get pure resolution from HD content. Color and tint default settings. Now coming to advanced settings, as you can see most settings are off or at zero value. Color space, we have adjusted it to get precise color gamut. As you can see, I'm now switching between primary colors and now going to secondary colors. Okay, done with that. White balance, these are settings for two points. And now for 10 points, starting with 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 without change, 90, and finally 100. Yeah, red was increased by plus 2. Gamma left at zero because it was precise out of the box. And now going to picture options. Digital clean view can be turned off for analog sources with grain and noise. MPEG you can also turn on to some settings depending on condition of the content. Motion Plus, add custom with blur reduction at maximum. If you want the best movie experience without artifacts, so pure, pure picture, turn Motion Plus off. It's okay for 24p movie content. But for general usage, custom with blur reduction, 8 to 10. Resolution is great in both both um, scenarios. Judder reduction should be at zero, but if you want soap soap opera effect, if you want things to get a little more smoother on the screen, then you should increase this value. Alternative is to turn LED clear motion, which will dim picture a little bit, but will also provide better motion resolution. We prefer, prefer to turn it off and adjust settings like this. Okay, so overall this is it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe or comment with all questions that you could think of about this or any other reviews on our channel. Thank you for watching once again and goodbye.